Bengali said, pressure is inversely proportional to velocity. But how do I know? Bengali is applicable in real life. This very plane is an example of Bernoulli's principle. Do you know how the plane stays in the air? The Bernoulli's principle explains the behavior of an ideal fluid passing through a pipe or enclosed passageway such a pump. Bernoulli's principle says that a rise in static pressure in a flowing fluid will always be accompanied by a decrease in the speed of the fluid and conversely an increase in the speed of the fluid results in a decrease in the static pressure. For example, Bernoulli's principle is responsible for the fact that a shower curtain gets sucked inwards when the water is first turned on. What happens is that the increased water or the air velocity inside the curtain causes a pressure drop. The pressure difference between the outside and inside causes a net force on the shower curtain which sucks it inwards. A practical siphon works because gravity pulling down on the taller column of liquid leaves the reduced pressure at the top of siphon. This reduced pressure at the top means gravity pulling down on the short term column of liquid is not sufficient to keep the liquid stationary against the atmospheric pressure pushing it up into the reduced pressure zone at the top of siphon. So the liquid flows from the higher pressure area of the upper reservoir up to the lower pressure zone at the top of siphon and then with the help of gravity and the taller column of liquid down to the high pressure zone at the exit. Bernoulli's principle can also be seen in a perfume bottle. Squeezing the bulb over the fluid creates a low pressure area due to the higher speed of the air which subsequently draws the fluid up. When a Bunsen burner is connected to a gas supply, the gas flows at a high velocity through a narrow passage in the burner, creating a region of low pressure. The outside air, which is at atmospheric pressure, is drawn in and mixed with the gas. The mixture of gas and air enables the gas to burn completely to produce a clean, hot fire. The reason why the plane stays in the air is due to the increasing pressure over the wings of the aeroplane. This is caused by the increasing speed of the air. Similarly, below the wings, the pressure is increasing, which pushes the airplane upward. Yeah, so there is a pressure gradient is created and which gives weight to the plane. But you know, if this lift is greater than the weight of the plane, it causes the plane to the fly. Right? Correct. So, now we know how the plane stays in the air.